All right, going now from the abstract to something very, very real, the ongoing pandemic, and it doesn't just seem to be going to slow things down anytime soon, and things seem to be changing so fast every single day with that Delta variant hanging up over our heads. So we all have a lot of questions, and Dr. Stephen Jacobson from Premier Blue Cross helped us get some of those answers. How likely is it to catch the Delta variant if you've been vaccinated? There was a really good study that's uh, on the CDC website. It just came out fairly recently. It looks at healthcare workers that have been vaccinated. And they show that the vaccine is about 90% effective, you know, in the current situation with our current Delta variant out there for preventing active COVID infection. Now, the good news of that, if you do get uh, an infection, you're, it's a far milder case. What is the carry spread ratio for someone that's been vaccinated? I know that basically the thought is if you're in a room full of unvaccinated people, you're more likely to get the virus. But if you're in a room with vaccinated people, it's less likely, right? That's correct. So the Delta variant, it's a nasty virus. It's two to three times more contagious than the original virus. So it, it's uh, that's a significant difference. And then there was a study fairly recently that looked at... Um, Yes, you could be contagious if you if you have been vaccinated and you get you still get COVID, um, but your uh, period that you're contagious for is actually significantly less, and it's a little hard to pin down down exactly, but perhaps about half uh, the the length of time. So so it's, you're better in that way as well. And how likely are you to go to the hospital if you've been vaccinated? That's something that I think a lot of people are still worrying about now that this variant is coming along. The data for the folks in the hospital, and, and they're, uh, they collect, if you, people have been vaccinated, people who haven't, um, about 80 to about 98% of the people who get hospitalized for COVID are not vaccinated. There's a few people that uh, end up still hospitalized, but even among that group, the likelihood of ending up in the intensive care unit or on a ventilator is, is far less as well. Yeah. All right, my big, big question as a parent, making every parent concerned, what about kid hospitalizations for COVID right now? Yeah, there has been an increase, about 8% of uh, uh, nationwide, again, toward the looking at the CDC website, are is hospitalizations for children, so people under age 18. Um, you know, that's an increase from what it was, you know, earlier in this pandemic, but it's still a st fairly modest amount. Um, fortunately, for the most part, children don't get as sick as adults do, which is mm -hmm. which is good news. You can get the, the vaccine down to age 12. There's studies going on right now looking at that younger age group down to, say, age five or even down to age two. Wow. So that those may be approved later this year, but it's kind of yet to be determined when that younger age group would be eligible for the vaccine. It makes everyone just sick to their stomachs to hear about child fatalities from COVID. But what you're also hearing is that these are children with pre-existing conditions. Do you know if that's true, that these children who are dying from the disease do have pre-existing conditions or are these healthy, normal children? Yeah, it's just heartbreaking in children. That, that's for sure that for uh, children that get really sick with this virus, um, most of the deaths are probably amongst those that have some um, underlying health issue or immunocompromised issue. Mm -hmm. um, but even that, there is a, a few, a rare number in, in fully healthy children. And so fortunately, it's a very small, but it could still happen uh, even for a healthy child. Okay, so they're going back to school now. They are going to be exposed more than they are now. So what should parents be looking for and doing in preparation for the school year? For all parents out there, if they have not been vaccinated, I really encourage them to consider getting vaccinated themselves because they that can make a big difference. If you're going to be in a tight space, masking up, yeah. uh, good uh, hand hygiene, washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, social distancing, avoiding crowded locations, being smart about it. The school districts are putting a lot of time and energy into trying to make the schools as safe as possible for our kids. And we sure want to get them back in school as well. So continue to follow everybody's good advice out there and we do the best we can. Yeah, I'm like, amen to that. I think I know the answer to this already, but you know, viruses are the one thing that's evolving faster than us, right? Are there gonna be more Delta variants when we finally figure out this one? I mean, is this an ever ending battle? There probably will be more variants coming our way. Um, you know, fortunately our current vaccines work really well against this Delta variant. The Delta variant is currently over well over 90 percent of the cases that are out there um, other parts of the world are seeing some other variants um, 
I think the current vaccine technology, they are able to pivot fairly quickly, just like uh, for the annual flu vaccine, uh, they're able to shift that from year to year. That, yeah. that likely with the new variants that the, the companies who make these vaccines may be able to, to pivot fairly quickly to, to understand what's out there, like the flu shot and have those uh, boosters ready when, when the time's right. Um, you know, that, we're not quite there yet, but I, I can see that coming our direction. Learn more. If you want to learn more about the COVID vaccine or where you can get one, visit Primera's website. We've also got more info on New Day's website, so check it out. Meantime, coming up, the hilarious moment with my dress. It could have been avoided if I'd only read the reviews. A check-in with my armoire closet when we come back. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Primera Blue Cross.